like a saxophone. I call the shots that can't tap my phone. It's hella rich, get your money long. I just been like you and me, myself. They think I'm crazy, it's crazy. Honestly, I can kill less what they think. Really, I just want the 50s and 50s. Alright, so look, bro, y'all know I be trying to put y'all on on how to make extra bread, easy bread, you feel me? Just extra income, because a lot of people be asking me, Trey, how you be affording this and whoop whoop? So I'm about to show y'all right now, it's this simple. So you just gonna answer these three questions, or whatever, it don't matter, right? Once you answer that, it's gonna ask you to put your email in. Alright, so look, bro, I'm email confirmed. It'll send you an email for confirmation. Well, after all of that, all you got to do is just wait patiently for your confirmation email. And then once you get the email, it'll have a link attached in the email that'll bring you to the registration screen. So you just got to fill out a little bit more. You feel me? A few more things that's required and questions they got for you. So they know where to send it. And eventually they going to ask for, you know, the cash, tag, all that good stuff. And then once you do all of that, just wait a little bit more and you will get your 750. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to fill this out actually. I'm actually about to fill this out and then wait for my 750. Bro, bro, y'all see this, bro? Bro, y'all see what it say? Cash survey sent you 750, bro. Not even three minutes later after I finished the survey, bro. All y'all got to do is the steps I showed and you going to be green and you going to get your bread, bro. It, it, um, I'm going shopping. Oh, um, bro, I'm going shopping. I hope y'all follow instructions. I hope y'all get y'all cheese. And, hey, let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see, it's about 10.30ish, 10.40ish, like, heading to 11 p.m. at night. Uh, woo. I talked to him, he finally gave me a call, he finally hit me after all this time. He talked to me, he called me, and he was basically calling me on some, like, wanted to be mature about things type stuff, you feel me? It wasn't on, it wasn't on no aggressive, hothead, rah-rah type stuff. It wasn't like that at all. It wasn't no long, long conversation or nothing like that. It, it wasn't too long at all. We just talked. We said what we had to say. Just to summarize it, he basically called me. He got my perspective since we ain't talked this whole time. Like how I was looking at it. And like, we just talked about like my thoughts, how I've been thinking through this entire situation and all that. He apologized, y'all. So he, he acknowledged, you feel me, how I felt. And he apologized for like the role he played. And he apologized for just like how things was going and how things was getting carried. Like I said before, y'all, like, I ain't never the type to just invalidate somebody's feelings, bro. Like, I was never saying he was doing too much for him being upset. The only thing I was, you feel me? Like, nah, he doing too much, he dragging it, was with the other stuff, the other actions, you feel me? The the other stuff that was being done. That's when I'm like, oh, no, nah, like, that's too much. He's dragging it. Like, I'm not invalidating his feelings. I'm not, I'm not... Like, oh, nah, you upset for no reason. Nah, him being upset, I can understand that. Y'all, I'm a person that can take accountability for when I play a role in something or if I'm wrong. I can take accountability. I never have high pride to where I can't take accountability. The only issue I had was how things was just going about. Like, knowing how locked in we was, knowing how tight we was, and I'm just like, yo, stuff should never play out and rock how it's rocking. You feel me? Like, it shouldn't, it shouldn't go how it's going. I just told him that. I told him what I had to tell him. And I also apologized to him for the role I played in the situation. Because at the end of the day, even if my, my intentions was pure, I still was the reason he got upset. You feel me? So, I apologize for the role I played in the situation. So, I apologize. He apologized. Uh, we both took accountability. We both was able to come to an understanding and we both was able to to acknowledge each other's feelings and how we felt about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. I feel like that's a good thing. And he mentioned going to hoop. And I was like, you know what? Going to hoop would actually be cool because like if we got any lingering tension, you feel me? Or like if it's anything from the situation still lingering, you know what I'm saying? He competitive, I'm competitive, we can hoop it out. We can just go at it and hoop it. Cause I feel like anything other than that 
or like more amplified than that is too much. Like boxing for what? Whoa, like you know what I'm saying? Like punch it for it. We're gonna be punching for it. Like nah, that's too. Much. I feel like that's too much. But hooping, I feel like that'll be a a good way actually to go at each other. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to run this by Deuce and Jano. They up in there chilling. I'm about to just tell them me who had a talk and. Yeah, but I'm pretty much I've been wearing you feel me a shirt and shorts all day, so I ain't got I ain't gotta do nothing too extra. So we about to go in there and just talk to them boys about who calling me real quick before we go hoop. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me. Yo 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 y
Yeah, I'm going to keep this shit on. I don't even got no other shit. You going to take that off? But you going to hoop in those shorts? Yeah. All right, bet. Let's do it. Of course he want to hoop. I want to hoop too, cause I ain't gonna lie. Like that, that'll be a cool little way. Cause I feel like anything other than that is like extra, like like boxing or like what are we boxing for? The situation ain't even that. Like, like boxing, boxing out the picture. You feel me? That's for the that's for the dudes. That's for the red dizzies. Like for the randoms type. You feel me? Or like you know what I'm saying? But y'all, we about to get ready to go, and we gonna head there, and I'm gonna cut the camera back on once we get there. So yeah. All right, y'all, so we just pulled up to the gym. You know what I'm saying? We just got here. It's me, Deuce, Jano right there, my boy Taj behind the camera. But uh, who here? His car right there. Uh, he up in there somewhere, but we about to go up in here and check in, get everybody in. And I'm probably going to see him in the gym. You cold? Yes. All right, come on. I, hope, I ain't going to lie. I hope I got two guest fans, though. You weren't even nobody at the gym. Oh, bro. As long as I can get in, I'm going oh, to work. We just got to get in then. If nobody at least there. one person. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta at least one, person. but I'm walking past everybody like this. <laughs> so, uh, I ain't going to lie. I don't know how I check in. Cause I ain't been here since I got my membership. But I just want to hoop, y'all. I'm about to get these boys buckets, y'all.
Oh. Niggas ain't warm up. Niggas. I'm here! Well, come back gonna be crazy. Ain't no comeback, nigga. Ain't no comeback, nigga. That's eight. Eight zero. Remember that. That's eight, eight zero. Trent That's not going like that. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Oh, great move. Great move. Great move. Great move. Great move. I said just one. That's three. Come on. I just need one. One fail and it was a mid range. That's all it takes. He said, Don't let him score a game. Me getting my rhythm is never good. I ain't who and much. Oh, oh yeah! Y'all heard that shit! Hey now! Hey now! Shoot that shit! Shoot that shit! I know why I ain't tripping. I ain't even gonna say why I ain't tripping. But I ain't tripping. Just know. Just know. He don't wanna he don't wanna play again. I put that from right here. He said, shut him by. Bye. Bye. He know not to run it back though. Bye. We can run it back. Another day. Ugly! I lost.
I'll take my L. I'm not tripping. You feel me? I'm not tripping. I'm not about to pout. We, at the end of the day, the bigger picture is we talked, we settled it, we came to an understanding. Now we can get back on track, bro. That's the bigger picture. I do appreciate this for answering the phone and then really southern that shit, bro. For sure. Bro. No, like, bro, because it's like life is really deeper than what people make it seem. Like, right. you feel know me? And right. plus, life is way too short. Man. Too short, bro. And it's like the way the way things went about shouldn't have went that way. But the bigger picture is we got it settled. You feel me? You came to understand it. So that's the bigger picture. That's the good thing, bro. Everything else left where it's at. But I still, bro, I feel like I accomplished what I need to accomplish. What? And that was. We just who? But no, I'm saying that, that was the purpose of the blind date. What? To, to get y'all back on a better page. Who, me and Lena? Yeah, bro. That, that was the whole thing. It was right, 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 right. So, like, face to face, like, on some real stuff. What honestly made you think I was going to react on some cool shit? Or, like, not even on some cool stuff, just like, why do you think I wasn't going to. Like, 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 why, why do you think that wasn't going to run me the wrong way? Since it was me, but like, I feel like it wasn't no random, it wasn't nobody else on the outside. Then I feel like that would be look, like, looked at more like trolling. Okay. But like, if I, at the time, if I could explain it off rip, then I would have told you, like, I wasn't trolling. It was just like, I'm thinking it's me, so I'm thinking I can be the one to do it. Yeah. Now that we're here, I still feel like I ain't accomplished it. You feel me? So I want to accomplish though. I want y'all to face to face. I want y'all to me. I know, but it's about. Like you just said to me, life too short. Life is too short. You just said so that like, to all me. Alright, so if we want some face to face stuff, it's like I I can't set that up. Exactly. So okay. I'm going I'm going to be the one to make it happen. I'm going to be the one to, that's why, that's why I was like looking at it like me. Like I'm going to be the one doing it. Okay. So it's like, I'm going to set it up. I'm gonna get things together and this go around. This go around. It's playing. It could be how it's supposed to. Right. How you know. Right. 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 All love, bro. All love. So we good? All right, man. We straight? Right. So I'm gonna set that up. I'm gonna let you know. And I'm gonna accomplish, or hopefully accomplish, what I was trying to accomplish the first time. Right. That's good. All right. That's good. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Niggas don't want to do a part two, though. He just got an ass, but I ain't gonna lie. It's all love, bro. That's my brother at the end of the day. You feel me? Um, brothers get into it. The family get into it. Friends get into it. It's life. The people you closest to, you gonna get into it at times. It's just important that like the way things go about, things are handled, is in a manner where it's like not too far. You feel me? As long as it's not too far, it can be fixed, bro. As long as y'all still got respect for each other, it can be fixed. But Man, I don't know how long this video is. It's probably not that long. That's not the point anyway. But shit, thank y'all for watching. I love y'all, man. And uh, your boy Trey gonna be back with some more bangers. So peace, yeah.